Hello, welcome to this video on the Combi controller. This is number six in the series and today we're going to be talking about the information menu. Information can be accessed two ways. Firstly, using K4, the information button and going down to operation information and then that displays operation information or we can actually go to it directly from K6, information button. The first screen that you see gives us all the temperatures that are going on the machine. Now remember this is a snapshot of what's happening and it will change every 20 seconds. The, the device will scan the sensors and will make appropriate changes to those settings. Currently we have a supply temperature at 22.7. The supply temperature is what we're supplying to your reception rooms through the machine. Room temperature is actually where this controller is and there's a sensor just in the bottom which gives us a temperature. Fresh air is fairly obvious, that's the temperature of the air coming in from outside. Exhaust is the temperature of the air going out. Pre-cooling surface is the temperature between your passive heat exchanger and your evaporator coil. Um, for most of us that's not really important but for, for guys wanting to service it or to identify a fault it's a really useful parameter. Cooling surface is the temperature of the evaporator coil and normally that would be much colder than that. Currently this machine is, is in a display mode so it's not actually doing any real work which is why the top and bottom of the tank are exactly the same temperature. Below that you'll see there's T9 sensor and next to it is minus 30. Whenever you see a minus 30 temperature it means there is no sensor connected to, to that port. T9 is for additional sensing for additional heating or for whatever purpose you might have. There's lots of reasons why you can put in an additional sensor and currently that's not connected to anything. If we press the down arrow it gives us another page and it tells us at what speed the, the fans are running. So supply is providing fresh filtered air into your property, extract is taking the moist air out of the property and the bypass um, utilizes or, or blocks off the heat exchanger <coughs> in order to reduce the, the incoming air temperature. Water valve relates to systems which have a water heating ad addition to the system and often that's where the T9 sensor would be used. Currently on this machine the bypass is off uh, preheat is 0% and reheat is 0%. Most people won't have preheaters in the UK. We don't get cold enough for preheaters. Some will have a reheater unless you're a passive house and then the chances are you won't have it. Although, just to be awkward, some passive houses do have a preheater. If I press the down arrow that gives us another page and this tells us what functions are operational. So a compressor is actually your heat pump, heating element uh, is the immersion heater, electric heater if there is one fitted is a duct heater, defrosting is an automatic mode uh, which occurs when the um, pre-cooling surface which is a parameter listed in temperatures and the evaporator coil reach certain temperatures and at that point the machine automatically provides hot gas to the evaporator coil to melt any ice that has formed. When it does that, when it is in defrosting mode, the supply air fan will stop and the reason for that is generally it gets very cold in that evaporator coil, coil in the winter and of course you don't really want to be blowing cold air into the property um, whilst it's defrosting. So the, the fresh air fan will stop, the supply air fan stops, uh, just to make sure that the, the property doesn't cool too much during that defrosting period. It's an automatic function 
once the coil reaches uh, plus five degrees, it, it will go back to normal operation. It's, it's entirely automatic and you'll probably not notice it at all. Domestic hot water, uh, that means that the heat, heat pump is heating water, currently it isn't. Room means it's heating the room, currently it isn't. And then additional cooling is off, that's the bypass, plus you have auxiliary relays for further devices, so ground thermal heat exchanges and so on. Again, nothing uh, connected at the moment. If I go to the next page, that's a list of alarms and they're well, well worth knowing. So stop control is a function that is used usually if it's usually in tenanted properties if someone has failed to replace the filters when the filter alarm goes off the stop control will stop the machine to prevent any damage that occurs 14 days after the filter alarm has come on we normally leave the stop control off but under certain circumstances people can activate that and it can be useful in certain circumstances Change filter alarm, again, is obvious. The filter alarm function is a timer function. The factory setting is three months, but you can have it set to anything up to six months. Pressostat is a fancy name for a mechanical pressure switch, which is connected to the refrigeration circuit on the system. And if the pressure within that circuit exceeds um, certain parameters, in the case of the combi it's 18 bar, then that switch will disconnect the compressor. Usually the cause of a pressure stat alarm is someone has forgotten to change filters or there's a blockage somewhere or someone's closed off air vents um, because unless the machine has decent airflow it can't perform properly. Com error is Essentially, the machine is not talking to this controller. Um, usually it means the controller has been knocked uh, um, and uh, connection has been broken. And finally, SD card error. Each machine has an SD card tucked into the bottom. Um, I can actually show you that, I think. If I press underneath, I can just about pull it out. There we are. And we'll pop it back in. He says and fails miserably. There we are. Okay. Um, next page. This is fairly boring, but it's it's our counters, so we can tell what, how long it's been running on a certain fan speed, which relays have been active for longest. Oh, it's mind blowing. Um, so for most of you, that's not really interesting. The really important stuff are temperatures. And the one really that's most useful is how much temperature is coming into the property and how many coats do I need when I step outside and the, the fresh air temperature will tell you. I hope you found that helpful. Thank you for watching.